What did you find, David? So we've got A right here and Y right here. We've got a line that goes through the two that differentiates them that roughly lines up with 2E. So I said 2E. That looks like a good answer to me. Recall that when we were using the table to organize the case memory previously, we were very concerned that the size of the table will grow very large. It will become very difficult to search for a specific case in that table. Discrimination trees provide a potential answer to that. By asking a question, we are quickly able to prune away one part of the tree. That makes the search process much more efficient. And that's the point of the discrimination tree. In both organizational scheme, the table and the discrimination tree, we are trying to accommodate and accumulate new cases. But in the case of the discrimination tree, by asking the right questions to the right nodes, we make the search process more efficient. So for those of you familiar with big O notation, you'll notice that the efficiency of searching the case library organized by indices was linear, whereas here it's logarithmic.